scratchy and you know any time you concede then with five or so minutes left um obviously going to be a little bit nervy at 2-1 but thought on the whole uh, delighted with a lot of our passages and the way we played and i thought we turned deserved to win yeah. you you really did just get the two goals at the important times the two goals in the last 10 minutes young stephen bradley was on song throughout the, most of the game for you he made the first one uh, for, for pat and then the second really then, slip, yeah. and then the, the second goal came just three minutes from half time you must have been delighted to, to see those two goals going in at the time they did yeah i was but i was happy with the way we were playing even prior to the goals obviously sligo carry a threat they're a decent team um, and they had a couple of chances, half chances, but I, I thought we controlled the game, I thought we owned the game in the sense of playing up uh, and having proper possession of the game. So um, I was delighted that, that was, that's more, uh, as I said to them after, of, a, of a, what we see in training and a replica point of view from a quality standpoint. So it's just about, obviously, the more times you go out on a Friday and do it, uh, that builds belief. So it's just about our lads really believing the, the talent they have and the good players they are and the, as I said the more results like that the better the better for their mentality and then um, there's always that little bit a new group you know if you've not done it you can train very well and that but there's always that little bit of uncertainty till you go out and start sort of churning out wins and performances. You played the brand of football we've come to see here at Orion to, to open the track to football. Yeah that's the way we want to play we, well we want to play uh, winning football no matter like ultimately there's loads of different ways uh, philosophies and ways to win matches so as long as we're winning but uh, we do want to play on the front foot and we want to encourage our players and our creative players to pick it up in good areas uh, and go and express themselves so that's the way we want to play and um, you know on that front follow on from last week which was my biggest disappointment last week was we never really had a foothold in the game or we never really showed our quality in possession. I thought we did we did that tonight. Where the results have gone tonight, it, it's just nothing between you. I think you're in third place and down to about ninth or tenth. It's, it's going to be a very tight league. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. You said it prior to this season and I said it prior to last season. And that's the way the league's going to be and I, it's not going to change. Uh, people think the league might flatten out a bit like most leagues sort of take take uh, take shape I think this league in particular is going to be um, swings and roundabouts there's going to be a lot of teams that are capable of had, taking points off had each any injuries after the game yeah well obviously Robbie and Dan had to go off so we'll assess them in the morning but any um, idea the, no the it's a bit early but obviously that's the one downside of mm. of tonight you know um, thought Dan was playing very well um, he just sort of rolled his ankle, the ball hit off his ankle and rolled it and, and Robbie just felt his hamstring early enough but he had started the game very well so rarely does it go uh, go smoothly so that's, you know, obviously you win the game but the downside is you have a, you have a couple of injuries. Was well, so your most controlled performance of the season, yeah, do you think? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. He thought mm. controlled the game large parts against UCD but mm. thought tonight um, was our most controlled. As I said, the last 15-20 got a bit scratchy mm. and got a bit fragmented and then we can see a sloppy goal from a long throw but we saw it out well um, but from a as you said from a control point of view I thought that was our, our best performance yeah and did the fact that Liam brought on two midfielders at half time kind of bear that out and that he's trying to get back control of the game yeah I think so um, he obviously Liam obviously felt he needed to do something so you know it's usually a good sign and a bad sign for you as a manager if you have to take two make two changes at half time it's usually a good sign for for us if it's the opposition on the field they have to change something so um exactly as you said very happy Sligo are a good team and and they'll they'll be very difficult to beat and they'll you know they'll, they'll go away from home like they did at Trotta and they, they, um, they drew it, they went 2 0 up against Shamrock Rovers Tal only a couple of weeks ago, so so they carry a threat and they carry good quality. You said you needed the win, you want that after the game last week, you, you said that you, you needed, you wanted to see. I, 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 I never put pressure, I'd, I'd never say we need a win, I never put pressure on our players to win, but what I do put pressure on them from a work rate point of view and, and really back themselves to go go and, uh, and back themselves their ability but I would never to the players or that before a match or that I never put pressure on us to win a game it's just go out and uh, and give your best and, and go and play with freedom within the structure of the team that's the only way and work rate right, that's the only only time our players will get will, will, will get a bit of an ear bashing off us is if their work rate right. we think they're, they can work harder than the, they're working 
another big game Monday against Shamrock Rovers as well. Yeah, quick turnaround. I think they won one nil, did they? So um, we'll reset. Um, we'll enjoy tonight. You have to enjoy your wins, and then we'll get ready for the morning. Uh, we'll get ready in the morning of how we're going to go about it. Team selection, obviously, and, and the way we're going to go about the game on Monday. Brilliant. All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks Stephen. Thanks